be able to download Google File Stream. Go ahead and go to Google, go ahead and type in download Google File Stream. You'll be brought to this technical article. And if you find that you scroll down, you'll be able to see that you can download the installer for either Windows or for Mac. At this point in time, we're going to go and download the installer for Windows. It's going to bring down the executable and it's ready for launch. File stream launches for the first time. It wants to authenticate your user account with Google. So you're going to go and provide your Google user account and the password for that account. Once it's loaded, you'll see that a stub has been placed down near the system tray. And it's kind enough to come up with a tutorial on how to be able to use Google Drive and the file stream. Once you close the tutorial, it'll automatically come up and show you that you can be able to now navigate your My Drive as well as your Team Drives. Navigation is pretty straightforward. You're able to double click on the folder structures or go back. You can also be able to double click on the Team Drives and see the shares that you have access to and then be able to open up the shares. Inside of the share, you can be able to create new folder and file objects. So you can go and create a new folder, like Hello. And inside of Hello, you can be able to drag and drop any content that you might have from your computer into that folder. You may see for a light minute that you see a synchronization icon, but eventually that content is uploaded and then is available to you. Once it is, the icon will change and you'll see it's now a cloud icon. At that point in time, the file is uploaded and it's ready for use. You can go and close out of the file structure, and you can also provide yourself a shortcut in Windows by just going to this PC. And you'll notice that I just pressed the Windows key and then went to this PC. This shows me the drives that I have available to my computer. I can be able to right click on Google Drive File Stream say create a shortcut and place that onto the desktop. So now I have a fast way to be able to access the Google Drive file stream by simply double clicking on the shortcut available from my desktop. But fear not, you can still be able to access your Google Drive and the, the team drives by going directly into the web interface. And notice that I'm already logged in and I'm just gonna go to Drive. When I'm inside of Drive, you'll see that I'd be able to see my usual container, the My Drive space, which is my own private files. Then you're able to see Team Drives and the Team Drive space, which are the files that belong to the organization. Again, you can be able to drill down. And this is the same structure that you were seeing earlier. And to be able to find the file that you're interested in. And notice that I am able to see the full activity of that file as it's recorded by Google Drive. And naturally, we can also be able to access our Google Drive from the iOS apps as well as the applications on the Android platform. By just going into Drive, then be able to access your team drives, then be able to navigate down to the team drive itself, look at the file folders and structures, and be able to view files when you're inside of the uh, inside of the application. You can also be able to go back into your own MyDrive and be able to see your own documents.